Coach, you know, you get a win out there. I long road trip on the flip side. Browder and Payne with the risk. Yeah. We don't have any updates on those guys. We'll find out more um, tomorrow when we get more testing done. What was good with you having your sense tonight? Big leading me to run. Yeah, I mean, we, we just didn't play um, 48 minutes of good basketball, good habits. I thought the fourth quarter was um, not an indicator of how we wanted to play. They <clears throat> changed up their defenses, were a bit more aggressive. We, we didn't have um, the ball movement that we typically have um, versus their pressure. They were getting out on pick and rolls and blitzing pick and rolls. Once we got off the ball a little bit, and found the second side, we were in decent shape, but we missed some shots on the second side too. But we scored 21 points in the fourth. Um, you know, that that was a lot of it was their defense, but a lot of it was some of it was us um, not making the consistent right play. But I'm happy about the win. I mean, to get that kind of win off of a long road trip against a team that has played that way the past few games against some really good teams. Um, you know, we'll take the win for sure. And uh, the third quarter um, was huge for us. I thought we came out with a, a bit of uh, juice and burst uh, on both ends. We got four consecutive stops, I think, to start the half. And uh, we weren't taking the ball out. And we were just getting out and playing in our secondary offense. And, and that generated some energy for us. How much was that an emphasis on big stops coming out of that? Yeah, I mean, that's... The thing that hurt us in the first half, I think they had 17 free throws. And so they were able to set their defense. And so we just talked about if we can come up with the rebound, get the stop, come up with the rebound, they, they can't set their D and we can just play in transition. I know Beyonce has been around a while since so he's been Yeah. The way he's fit into the rotation so quickly, like why, why is he meshed so well and what you think about him tonight? Well, I mean, one, he knows how to play his position and he stays in his box. Um, he's not out there taking jump shots or, you know, crazy shots around the basket. He either has something around the rim, his jump hook, or he finds guys on the second side. And then the other side is he's, he's playing with Chris. I think Chris, with a guy like Biz, Chris is going to enhance all of his skills. And that's what you're seeing when those two are in pick and roll. Coach, what is it unlocked in your offense when Mikhail was as aggressive as he was, especially off the dribble? Mm -hmm. attacking yeah, that's what I was saying about the second side. You know, they were pretty aggressive in their pick and roll coverages, and we were hitting the bigs or swinging it to Mikhail on the backside, and he was attacking. Um, and that's how we want him to play. You know, he's playing in point five. He's one of our better point five players anyway. Um, but that's how. You know, you could say it was aggressive or you can say he was just making the right plays. And they, you know, teams run him off the line because he can shoot. It. And so when we move the ball around for two or three passes and then it finds Mikhail, he's playing against a, a defense that's not set. And then that's when he's able to take advantage of his mid-range game. Lonnie, it's something you've talked about a lot. It's just a, a veteran's ability. It's like coming to the team and do things a little bit quicker with bids like already adjusting. Sure. Some is that an example of that you see? Yeah, I mean, I, I think when you played in certain systems, you know, he's played for Coach Clifford, and we we run the same defense almost. Um, it may be a different language, but he's been in defenses with our concepts. Offensively, you know, our bigs, if they play within the box of setting hard screens and diving and making plays in the pocket, you can have some success with our guards. Um, but he just has a high IQ and he's, you know, he understands, you know, if he frees up a guy, he's probably going to be free or he's going to have a chance to offensive rebound. And he plays extremely hard. I mean, he lays it out, lays it all on the line every time he steps on the floor. When James can go out, is there at least some Kind of solace and knowing like you're going to Alfred who has been in the yeah. situation 40 times, but it's like not someone who protects the playoff game, and it feels like he's never left. No, nah, he's kept the thing about Alfred is he's kept his spirit 
at a balanced level. You know, when you're not playing and then you're thrown in there, it's hard. And um, I thought his, I think his spirit has really helped our team. You know, he could be one of those guys pouting at the end of the bench. He hasn't been like that. And, um, you know, as we go forward, you know, that's, that's what the NBA season deals you at times. You're going to have guys who are in and out and you got to sit on the bench and be ready. And I think Jalen's shown that, Ish has shown that. We've had a few guys that have been thrown in there um, after having sat for five to 10 games. That, that's, that's pretty hard. And those guys have been uh, really good in that, in those situations. What are you had tonight where Booker's a little off, but Chris Paul had a tremendous game distributing the ball. Yeah. A lot of what you were talking about with Bridges was, was Chris getting him the ball in motion. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that they were doing to Chris early, they would blitz him and then they'd get out of it and then they switched. And, you know, he reads those types of defenses pretty quickly. So I'm not surprised um, when he puts up those kinds of numbers, nor do I take it for granted. But, you know, Cam, Jay, and Cam Johnson, um, and Mikhail, I'm sorry, are the ones who are the beneficiaries of those kinds of um, coverages because you have to commit to, to the ball. And a lot of times their guys in the paint to take away the big, they're open on the backside. And Chris is the best at finding those guys. My, knowing everyone in Indiana didn't have tonight, does that become a, a talking point ahead of time what they've done the last couple of games and what they just did on Thursday? What do you mean? Like the fact that they have played well and they just beat the Warriors yeah. without with the lineup. Sure. Possible. Well, we talked about that before the game. I mean, they played a good Clippers team. Um, they showed some different defenses in that game, but to beat the Lakers and the Warriors on the road without, that was something that we talked about. But all of our guys watch a ton of basketball, so they they were aware of it. And, you know, we say it all the time. When, when a guy puts on an NBA jersey, that means he can play. And Rick Carlisle is one of the best coaches in the league, so we knew they were going to be prepared. After making just about every shot, it seemed like the last week or so, Devin Booker and Cam Johnson both had tough shooting nights tonight. But in that fourth quarter, they made some really good. Yeah, they didn't stop shooting. You know what I mean? I thought um, we made enough plays, and um, I, I like the confidence that Cam had. You know, he would missed a couple, and then he you know, he knocked down the one in the right corner. Guys are gonna have tough nights, you know, and you come back off of a long road trip. And, whether it's rhythm or time changes, whatever the case may be, um, you almost expect that kind of a game. Uh, you hate to see it, but you, you kind of expect it. I'm just glad we were able to show that we can win uh, when Book has nights like that and Cam has nights like that. It might be, uh, last one, how many games can you get out of all as the season goes longer where he plays 41 minutes? I want to do that. Um, I'm grateful that we, we haven't done a ton in practice, so he is a lot more fresher, but I certainly don't want to pile up games where he's playing 40 minutes a night. And um, we're, we're going to have to uh, use Alfred, uh, maybe Landry at someone, book at someone uh, to spell Chris if, if Cam can't go. We don't know that yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.